<laughs> dancer, a dancing spurter. Oh my gosh, just like in the dance halls. Howdy, I'm Rombo. Welcome, parts, back to Arizona. And Area 51, those aliens have gone back to Jupiter, but I'm here. And look what I've got for you, parts and partners. The Ruger Vaquero stainless steel in 45 Colt. Yahoo! If you're a cowboy, cowgirl, you gotta have a six gun. And Ruger makes probably the best out there. If you shoot cowboy action, this is the one you want. It's shiny, it's clean, and you can shoot black powder in it if you want to. I'm not gonna do that today, but the stainless steel version cleans up really well. Take a quick look at the Ruger. It's styled after the famous Colt Peacemaker. It came out back in 73, 1873 that is. This model has a five and a half inch barrel. It's 11 and a half inches long. Weighs a little over two pounds, empty. Has a beautiful single action trigger pull. Let's show you that it's unloaded before I go too far here. Empty cylinder. That trigger breaks at three pounds, single action. It is a joy to shoot, it really is. Finish is polished stainless steel. If you ever get a chance to handle one of these beauties, run your finger over that polished stainless steel. It is smooth as a polished marble. And go over to the grips, the same thing again. They're hardwood. Look at that grain. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to flip it over. There's the Ruger logo, of course. Nice grain on this side. The uh, 73 is famous for its grip and for its point ability. Nothing before this by Smith & Wesson or anyone else could match this. And Ruger, Bill Ruger, being a smart guy that he is, copied the styling of it and improved it. I'm going to show you something different about the Ruger. It has a transfer bar right in front of that hammer. That means that the gun cannot go off if dropped when the hammer's down because the hammer is not putting any pressure on the firing pin. So if this gun were dropped, it would not go off. Not so on a Colt Peacemaker, it could go off. And all of us know that you carry a Colt Peacemaker with five rounds and a hammer down on an empty cylinder. I'd like to shoot it for you today. It's a very simple gun to load and shoot. Somewhat slow compared to those fantastic nines that we have. Look at that big cylinder. I'm gonna put a 45 Colt reload. That's my famous lipstick bullet. Same one I shoot in the 73 Winchester. That's a uh, Seiko Redding bullet, roughly 250 grains with some uh, unique powder. Slide that in and rotate. Slide it in and rotate. And again and again until we get her loaded. Oh, just listen. Oh, I wish you could hear that. Oh, that sounds so neat. Nice, smooth timing. Perfect. Take a look down ranks. Look at all those root bear jugs those aliens left behind. The bumblebees are having a good time with them, and so am I. First, I'm going to shoot that uh, steel plate. It's got a flapper. And let's see, will 250 grain bullet move that flapper? Oh, I think so. That's a heavy flapper. Yeah. Now I'm aiming. The sights, by the way, are rather primitive. The gun's still loaded. We're going to keep it pointed down range. All the sights are the little groove in the top strap with a blade front. Very primitive? Well, I don't think so. Let's watch that again. How about a headshot? Wow. Adjustable sights? What for? Okay, root beer jugs, you've met your match. Yeah! 
Ah, splatter that root beer all over. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a gurgler. Ah, we don't see those too often. Solid lead going right through it. Okay, six shots. As I reload, I think back to Tombstone when Wyatt Earp carried a bunt line, long barrel gun in the OK Corral. Well, we don't really know that, but this is how you had to reload. First, you got to get the empties out. Slow. So you better, if you're a bad hombre, you better carry two of these. I've only got one. I'm loading more lipstick bullets just that easily. Got to have your partner covering for you while you're shooting bad guys off their horses. This is a lot of fun. It fits my hand very well. There we go. Oh, I love that sound. Cool. Uh, pointability, just can't tell you. You've got to point one of these to understand. You aim it, it goes there. Yeah, ha, ha, dancer, a dancing spurter. Oh my gosh, just like in the dance halls. Oh, exploded that one, blew it back to Jupiter. And we have one on the side. Oh, gone. Don't need hollow points with a Ruger. It takes them out with solids. There's a pop can in the center. Not anymore. Blew that back to Saturn. Oh boy, there's a root beer sitting up on top of that boulder. Yeah, knocked him off. He fell 100 feet. And a little swinger here to the right. Oh, we had it knocked it over. That swinger was designed for a little wimpy nine millimeters, not this. Let me reload and I'll be right back. All right, oh my gosh, we got some reinforcements. Some pop cans came up, they were hiding. They're out in the open now. It's time to take them out. One on the right. Come on, pop can. Yeah! Pop can all over. Here's one in the middle. Uh oh, where did I go? Yeah, hit them on the edge and one way out there. Will the Ruger shoot that far? Hmm. Yeah! <laughs> he went back to Saturn. Holy cow, still got a couple shots left. Let's try that flapper again. Oh, he stuck halfway. I can just make it out. Yeah, that's better. You didn't notice that was only about a quarter of that flapper showing. This gun is accurate. It's fun. My kind of gun, it's a Ronbo gun. And it's not semi-auto, it's single action. Check out guns.com again. You might find one of these beauties. It's a great gun. Different calibers, 357, uh, 45 Colt, probably some other calibers, 44 mag, I imagine. It'll go with your rifle. Can't think of anything else to say, but go shooting, have a good time, and be safe out there partners and parts. I'm Rombo from Arizona signing off. Have a good one, folks.